<laughs> my dad's favorite story. Uh huh. There was one time I was out in way in Seattle for a fight out there, and Dave was there to help me out. And um, we go to this like salad thingy or whatever. Uh huh. The salad buffet. Like a salad buffet and like and salad so salad. Get, yeah, like salad. And so I get like this little like skimpy salad. Uh huh. With like barely anything on it, no dressing, lemon meringue flavor. And I got three olives. I love olives. And I go, Dave, do you think, do you think this olive has too much sodium in it? Yeah. <laughs> and he goes, Dave goes, let me try and eat each one. And he eats another one. No, it should be fine. Mm. And I was like, why the f did you? Why <laughs> so the I left her with one olive. <laughs> yeah, so I What happened? Said, what happened? I, 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 I tested it. I said, like, let me test it. Make sure. Uh -huh. Make sure this olive doesn't have too much Thank sodium, you. Gina. So I ate one. It's like, mm. ate two. It's like, no, those olives are good. And I'm like, what are you <laughs> like, Thank you so much. Thanks. Drink your watch. Tune in at 2 o'clock. Grand West Casino. Be there. Because why? Why you? Why you shave here? Why, why you shave this? It's like because it looks cool. <laughs> it looks cool, brother. I don't know. Why do we do anything? Because it looks cool. It makes you feel cool. Where are you going? Ciao. Are you going out to the gym? Yeah. <laughs> no. Tim's always a plan. About eight to eleven minutes. <laughs> uh. I've done media day multiple times now, so it's it seems like an, a normal thing for me now. I was, I was just telling Gina how like uh, I feel like I'm going to work. <laughs> this is what I do. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not nervous. I uh, nervous to fight. I'm always nervous to fight. The media stuff's easy, because um, all I do, all I do at media day is express how I feel and who I am and what I'm about. And I'm actually excited for media day. I like, I like media day because I can uh, talk to my fans, meet my fans, meet people, and see. It gives me energy to to meet people who enjoy what I do. I'm really curious to see how Don's gonna react to the whole media day, because he, he he's uh, you know everybody knows he's kind of a, a loud fighter. He, lots of people. I mean, it's no surprise that Don likes to talk a lot in his interviews um, and get tough with people and stuff. So I'm kind of curious how he's gonna gonna take it. Uh, I'm not that kind of fighter. I don't take things personally. I'm just here to fight, man. I'm just here to... He's just another guy that's standing in the way of my goals. It's always been that way. I've never... I've n I never look at a guy and I've never like hated a guy across from me. I've never... Yeah. And I don't... I, I can't... I don't think there's anything he could say or do that would really like tick me off. I've been I've been looking at Don Madge in my head for months and months, six, seven, eight months now. I don't know. For a really long time I've been thinking about Don Madge, so um, I've already shaken his hand inside the uh, hexagon after I fought Leon Mainhart. Um, so I'm not, I'm not I'm not worried about looking at him, I'm not worried about shaking his hand, I'm not worried about hearing what he had to say. There's the floor. There's the floor. It's lovely to be here. <laughs> it, it truly is, uh, like honestly, it's like a home away from home right now. Um, I've spent so much time on the road fighting, on the road. Um, 
and I finally got to come to the same spot a few times, so it's been a warm welcome from, you know, 99% of you guys. Even from the hotel, people in the hotel recognized me and gave me a warm welcome. The fans here have been unbelievable, so uh, thank you guys for making me feel welcome and making me feel good. Thank you. Again, um, I've said it before, and I'll say it again multiple times. Without fans, we could not be professional fighters. We, we would just be thugs in the street, right? And so thank you guys for allowing us to become professional and showing up. Please bring your friends. Please bring people out. Um, this allows us to get out, you know, the guys you see in the, the hexagon, we're different breeds. We, we have something different and we need to get it out. So now we have a constructive way to get out this aggression that we have as human beings. We're violent by nature. So this is a good outlet for us. So thank you guys for allowing us to be professional. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Nate <laughs> cool, brother. Jordan. Jordan? Nice to meet you, brother. Yeah. Thanks for coming. If I can be that person for somebody, it feels good to give back. So that's one reason why I uh, do my best to be as good to the kids and the fans as possible because I was that kid and I was that fan growing up and giving back to a community is the best. You gotta pay things forward. If everybody in life paid, paid it forward, then um, the world would be a better place and I wanna be a part of a better world. So, um, although mixed martial arts is a very violent sport, um, I think a lot of good can come out of it. Uh, humans are violent in nature, but we can send a pos positive message through uh, this violent competition that we're a part of. So.